What is up, XCS Life here, and today we are going to be teaching you how to skate cross country ski. So basically what this video is going to be is uh, if you guys are new skiers or beginners, this video is for you because we're going to be just doing some brief, brief explanations of the different techniques of cross country skiing. So offset, one skate, and two skate. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just going to be showing you guys some uh, technique videos and giving you guys some tips and hopefully this can help you guys out. So if you guys are wondering, uh, there's a bit of a difference between skate and classic. Well, there's actually quite a bit of a difference. Uh, but basically, like equipment wise, uh, for skate, you're gonna have a little bit longer poles and shorter skis and classic, you're gonna have longer skis and shorter, shorter poles. I'm classicking today and Noah is on his skate stuff. Uh, and also for classic, you are going to have wax on the bottom of your skis. You have a wax pocket where you put wax on, and that's going to help you get grip if you're going up hills. And skate, it's just all glide wax on the bottom of your skis because you don't need any grip wax. If you guys can, it'll be best to use the proper equipment for the right technique. And also, there's on classic skis, there's things called like your wax pocket, and you can go to a ski store anywhere pretty much and get that measured out on your skis to find out how big it is and how much wax you're gonna need. And just so you guys know, uh, we obviously don't have perfect technique, but we're gonna just try and give you guys as much tips and pointers as possible to try and help you guys out. Okay, so when you're doing any kind of one skate or two skate technique, it's really important, especially this for stability, is that you collapse your ankles and your uh, knees, and not at your core or any other upper body parts. So when, you, when you're skiing, you should be kind of relaxed and have your ankles like bent flexed, kind of, and just be like on top of your ski, but not like forward like this or not sitting back on your butt. And so to get that, it's, it's the main part you focus on bending is your ankle. And this is maybe hard for some people because they're not as flexible at this, but if you do a little bit of practice at this, you get better and better each time. And this will really help with stability and be making sure you get good gliding getting on top of your ski. Another yeah. important part is when you're pulling, you want to keep your core engaged. And when you pull, you want to collapse down on your poles and not bend over like really far like this or crunch like that. And you just want to collapse down onto your poles to get the power through. Another really important thing is just making sure that you're not sticking your butt out because lots of people, lots of new skiers will lean too far back and stick their butt out. You really want to make sure you're on the balls of your feet and keeping your hips forward. When you go up to pull, you want to make your hips go up. And then also when you're pulling, your arms should be about a 90 degree angle and then probably about like a 45 degree angle from your back and you're going to pull back your shoulders. And you can do a little bit of a push at the end with your triceps, but the main power is going to come from moving your shoulder blades and pushing them backwards together. Go, you're going to push up to the side, that's, that's very important. You're going to push up to the side and glide into your ski, and you want to have good bend. And then as you bring it, this is your pull side, you're going to bring your hands up, and as you do that, you're going to kind of bring your whole body up, and you're going to put your hips forward and up, and then you're going to get up, and then you're going to plant your poles, and they want to be like around the boot, like the binding length in between there. You don't want them to be out here, and you don't want them to be too far back, kind of like in the middle. And when you push down, you're going to push down and move over to the other ski, pushing out to the side. And then get your pole's going to be behind you, and then you go back to this one, you're going to come up, and then you can do the same thing again. And focusing on pushing your shoulder blades back as you go backwards, and making sure you get onto that ski. And one thing you need to help with that is if you can focus on, when you glide into that ski, is putting your knee outside of your foot line. So if you go and draw a line up, your knee can be outside of the start. And don't... Don't collapse your knees. Yeah. Just for them, like, 
if you're out, and don't, you don't. Just, you don't want to be in on your inside edge. You can do a little bit of side to side shifting, but you mainly want to just focus to be right in the center. And you, and you don't really want to twist toward the ski you're on. You can do a little bit of twist, but you want to main focus on being forward and not twisting to the side. Now the difference between one skate and two skate is how often you pull after every stride. So one skate, you're going to pull after every stride, like on every time you go into the lake, you're going to pull. And two skate, it's every second one. And one skate is often used on flats and slight uphills. Um, and then two skate is usually on like gradual downhills or if you're going really fast on flats. If you look like this, then you're doing something wrong. Okay, so offset is a very important technique. It's good for starting out when you're on a flat. It's also very good for getting up hills like this. The main difference with the timing between one skate and offset is with one skate, as you're on the ski and you're gliding and you're coming up, you plant, you push, and then you move over. While in offset, it's the whole motions together. So the plant and the push and like in the glide are together. It's a uh, three point plant. So your ski, your poles are that all done at the same time, whatever side you're pulling on. So it's like done, 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 done. So like three point plant and you move over. It can be either a very fast motion if it's a steeper hill or it can be kind of slow and gradual. So the main basics of it is you're just kind of stepping up the hill. And then when you add your poles, you want whatever side you're going on, you want your ski and both poles to land at the same time. So you want to go with this ski, and then once you're done pulling backwards, you just move on, step up and move on to the other ski. And so when you're skiing, you're kind of just stepping up the hill. And what's different between it and like one skate, is one skate you're pushing to the side and gliding up the hill, while uh, offset's more of just a step up the hill instead of a push. With one skate, your poles are always going to be face straight up, and with offset, you're going to be a little bit offset with your poles. They're still going to be at the same height. Like, if you look, they're still going to be at the same place. It just one will be a little bit higher because you're tilting your body to get the better angle of the hill. So, and you're still going to be pushing them backwards the same way you do when you're double pulling or one skating or two skating. But it's just your poles a little bit offset so you can get a little bit higher on the hill. Yeah, so like as you're stepping up the hill, you're, so you just show us again, like as he steps up the hill, He's planting his poles at a bit of an angle, just so he can transfer that weight onto the one side a bit better. So basically a transition is when you go from one technique to the other. So now he transfers over to offset. And also just a couple other things that I wanted to point out for you guys is when you're skiing, you actually really want to focus on keeping your upper body uh, as steady as possible and try not to twist your shoulders. You don't want to twist your shoulders or your upper body very much at all. And also in this video here, you can probably see Noah, he's doing a really good job of keeping his shoulders back. Uh, another really important thing is that you don't want to drop your shoulders when you're, um, when you're skiing. This is mostly a thing for offset. People tend to drop their shoulders when they pull. Uh, you don't want to do that. You really want to make sure you're keeping your shoulders back and keeping your uh, back nice and upright and still. Alright, I'm now going to talk about how to stop, which is something really important. Um, so when you stop, um, you're going to, that will show a pizza stop as you put your, join your skis together. And what's really important is you have a lot of bend in your legs, because if you straight up and you do that right away, you just need to go wait for it. So you got to make sure you got a lot of bend in your legs and then your skis are pointed together like in a pizza and then you're just gonna slow down and as you as you slow down snow's gonna be pushed out to the side and you'll eventually come to a stop okay we're gonna show you guys a quick example of what that's gonna, of what that is going to look like i can't talk today <laughs> wow Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
and make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you are notified whenever we upload a new video and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time yeah subscribe for more of his hair